Greetings, YouTube. Um, Jamie Rodemeyer killed himself last month. He was 14 years old. He killed himself because he had been relentlessly bullied for more than a year because he's gay. The superintendent said they're cooperating with the police department. The police department is considering filing charges against the people that they believe are responsible for the bullying, and I applaud their efforts. Lady Gaga has made a comment that she feels that bullying is a hate crime, and I agree. Now, there's a difference between a hate crime and a hate speech. Hate speech is when I say, hey, I hate Martians. That's hate speech. And I think it's protected First Amendment. But a hate crime is when you target an individual with the explicit desire to not just intimidate them, but to intimidate the group that they identify with and belong to. So when you burn a cross on the yard of a black person's home, that's saying, we know you live here, we don't want you, we don't want your kind. It isn't just an attack on a single individual, it's an effort to impact an entire community through terror. So yes, I have to think that organized bullying of this variety would in fact fall into the category of a hate crime. But for me, what this horrible, tragic case demonstrates is how everyone in this boy's life failed him. Now his parents, I think, are the least to blame. They are probably caught up in a situation where they didn't know what to do. But you know who did know what to do? The school superintendent and all the other administrators. They have education degrees. Do you know who else knew what to do? The teachers. They have education degrees. And I'm willing to bet that the parents of the children who did the bullying knew that, you know, being a dick on a regular basis to a single person for a year wasn't right. And they failed Jamie as well. And now we don't have him. We don't know who he would have been when he grew up. We don't know what great things he could have accomplished. His life will be a giant question mark forever. Because someone felt it was their duty to harass a person until they broke. That's torture in my book. And I think it should be punished. I believe in a legal system, of course. So I believe in identifying these individuals, charging them, trying them, and if found guilty, dispensing an appropriate form of incarceration or community service or whatever the court decides is the most appropriate action to take. I'm not sure. But just walking away from this and not doing anything isn't going to help. We can end bullying. I watched a video concerning this topic the other day. And someone, and the person doing the video made a very good point. She said, if you are ever bullied in school by anyone for any reason, it doesn't it ma me matter if you're gay or straight, it doesn't, it doesn't matter why they're bullying you. Go to a teacher and tell them, say, I'm being bullied. And after they've absorbed that statement, look them in the eye and say, now do something. Because that's their job, to protect the children. And no one protected Jamie. Suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Even if that temporary problem feels like broken glass inside your heart. Even if you think you cannot bear it for one more day. Suicide takes away that one more day. And I speak to you as someone who's been suicidal in the past. You need to find a way to get one more day until you find a way to realize that you don't have to live like that anymore. So if you are in that space, if you are in the place where you think that suicide is the answer, talk to a teacher, a parent, a friend, a band instructor, call it a helpline to talk to a total stranger. 
Talk to whoever you can lay your hands on. Make sure they understand that you're holding on by your fingertips. That you're in a full-blown survival mode and you don't think you're going to make it. And don't give up until someone believes you. But don't take that out. Don't take that permanent solution for whatever problem it is you have. We need you. We need the Jamies of the world. Don't leave us.